Hello there, Zachariah. What do I with the... Some members of the Assembly are sensitive to public opinion. If the population was pushed to speak up and out against Victor and the ASC, I'm betting those members would be pretty quick to ditch him. And obviously, as part of the opposition, you want me to help awaken the frustrations of the people. Wouldn't be hard to do, especially with the information you gave us for the newspaper. I'll spread the word. The opposition will start a corporate upheaval. Give it a few days. But it shouldn't take more than that for the Colonel's allies in the Assembly to jump ship. Your help's appreciated, Bulgakov. Now what? We just wait? That's the plan. Hold back while our allies get the people worked up. And hope the Colonel's response isn't to instruct his men to just open fire into the crowds of people we've manipulated. I don't think even he believes he has the power to do that without paying a huge price. Hey, you wanted to see me? Ah, yes. Sorry we had to meet here. The source must have been difficult to get to. But I'm pleased to finally make your acquaintance. Yeah, this isn't exactly homey. What can I do for you? I've been informed about Colonel Victor's less wholesome activities and your role in revealing them. With the assembly in uproar, my group is trying to pick a stance amidst the chaos. Colonel Victor's scandals and his methods have shocked the members of the congregation and the common people. Continuing support of the Colonel is political suicide. The trust between the people and their leaders must be restored for the good of abundance. You may be young, but you are wise. Victor is in a precarious position, and if his head is on a stake, his allies will join him. Better to jump ship before the crash. I, for one, have never approved of his methods, but the results have always been effective. The winds are changing, momentum is shifting, and we must show our objection to his brutality. Corruption is rampant in every level of our corporation, but who can say no to Serum? Are you trying to bribe me? No, of course not. I was simply referring to the Colonel's buyouts of certain assembly members. This back scratching has been toxic for abundance. For now, Victor roams unchecked. I agree. Alone, I can do nothing but agree. Perhaps it is time to gather truly honest men to represent the people of our great corporation. Look around you. Do you see the people? They're scared. Angry. Victor's incessant intrusion has violated the privacy of their lives, their relationships. They no longer feel free. All this whistleblowing has shattered our sense of community. No one trusts each other, and vendettas and misunderstandings alike send innocents to be imprisoned, tortured, or killed at the ASC's whim. Colonel Victor won't stop until he pushes the people of abundance to flee or fight to the brink of revolution. You're painting a very dark picture here. What you're saying could happen, I agree. Victor's playing with fire, and the flames grow with each passing day. We could lose everybody. Our workers, our scientists, our soldiers. They will be turned into our worst enemy. Our army's ranks are spread thin and filled with the Colonel's lackeys. If he wanted to seize power, declare martial law, Abundance wouldn't have the strength to repel him. And his unjustified arrests of our master technomancers forced them to flee, adding to our enemy's advantage in skilled forces. Many of our soldiers have deserted, some unwilling to participate in Victor's madness, others turned mad by his combat drugs. We must stop Victor before it's too late. Oh my. I did not realize Victor had taken things so far. This is grave news. You're right. We need to curtail the bleeding, so we can give our army a chance to rebuild. Listen, man. I'm the poster girl of abundance. This city? It's my home. So when I see what this piece of shit, human garbage, Colonel Motherfucker has done to it, it makes me pretty pissed off. We can't let this continue! I think I now understand why we didn't include a caption with the photo. You have witnessed firsthand the hardship Victor makes our people go through every day. If you are as wise as they say you are, you should listen to Zack. It's time for the Colonel to go. I am listening, miss. I came all the way here to do just that. 
but such crucial decisions are not made on impulse, even if the impulse has a pretty smile. You are quite persuasive. You have convinced me. I will go and try to do the same to my peers. Of course, even with unanimous focus and direction, it will take months to regain the trust of our people and rebuild the strength of our army. But most urgently, we must remove the man who started it all. An extraordinary meeting will take place in a few hours, and I have no doubt that it will end with good news. No mercy for traitors! Treacherous scum!